Um, okay, so the wavelength of a xenon flash tube is 4.1 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. What is the frequency of this light, light source? So, um, well, it gives you the wavelength. Wavelength is 4.1 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. And, um, well, normally you'll be given the um, value of the speed of light. So that's C equals 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Okay. Um, probably you'll have to remember the equation for this, right? So um, the frequency wavelength equation. Does anybody know that? Yes. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. It's, uh, frequency times wavelength equals constant. Yeah. So C equals frequency times wavelength. Okay. So what are we looking for? We're looking for frequency, right? So we just want to isolate that variable. So like that. Okay. So the way I like to do things. Um, it's just to cancel units out, okay? So I would do this like C times 1 divided by wavelength, okay? So if you do that, you get 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per 1 second, okay? And then you can multiply that by 1 over your wavelength, 4.1 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay, so hopefully you can see that cancels out meters like that, right? And that gives you per seconds for your units, okay? So everybody hopefully is cool with the um, value of per seconds as being hertz, right? So it's kind of, hertz is kind of a derived unit. So if you want to think about it this way, one per second equals one hertz, like that. So all you got to do now is plug and chug. So hopefully I brought my calculator with me. So one hertz is Okay, and again we're doing this in hertz. We've already got it there. So how many sig figs is this going to go to? Just two, right? Okay. Um, you don't use sig figs on constants, okay? You want to usually just use it for the values that you've measured in the experiment, okay? So in this case, there's only two, okay? So we're going to put this one to two. So um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I got 7.3 times 10 to the 14. And this, if you want to think about it, is per one second, right? Which is the same thing as second to the minus one or 7.3 times 10 to the 14 hertz. And hertz is a frequency unit, so we're cool. Does anybody have any questions about that one? Okay, so pretty straightforward on that one. You guys did a good job. <coughs>